there I was browsing the depths of Reddit. And then this article came and uh, smacked me in the face a little bit. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so apparently uh, the German Frankfurt police have taken a big L and we're gonna dive into it right now. So it says right here, Germany Frankfurt police unit to be disbanded over far right chats. A special police unit will be disbanded after investigators found far right wing extremist messages shared by some of its members. Very interesting. So um, we're going to dive into this, talk about it. And then I kind of want to hear you guys' opinions in the comments down below. So go ahead and get ready to type away because we're diving nose deep into this very sticky situation. Police from the central German city of Frankfurt on Main have decided to disband the city's special task force following the discovery of far-right extreme messages and group chats, a state official said on Thursday. Interior Minister for the State of Hesse, Peter Booth, said that unacceptable misconduct by certain members of the SEK made the dissolution of the unit unavoidable. Uh, the, a group of experts will organize a restructuring of the SEK, uh, Booth added, and we are launch, launching a fundamental reboot of the SEK today, he said. He called for a completely new leadership culture among the middle and lower levels of police force. Of course, our special forces will also be vital in the future, but the parameters will be different, the interior minister said. Why is a special task force being dis? disevolve pretty much that's, that's exactly what i'm wondering like well, what were these messages <laughs> the move followed an announcement by the frankfurt police's prosecutor prosecutor's office as well as the hessian state criminal office on wednesday that they had an ongoing investigation into 20 active and former sek officers suspected of participating in far right-wing extremist chat groups 17 hessa officers were suspected of spreading hatred inciting texts and symbols of former um, you know, World War II, not, you know, pleasant organizations outlawed under the post-war German law, said prosecutors. Oh, so they in trouble, trouble. Oh, they in trouble, trouble. That's what that is. Mainly in 2016 and 2017. Aged between 29 and 54. Um, all but one officer had been active on duty. Now none were allowed to perform their duties. Frankfurt Police Chief Gerhard uh, Beresville explained on Wednesday one had already been suspended. Revelations um, make the suspicion of far-right extremist tendencies of some of the members of Frankfurt SEK clear, Booth said on Thursday. Um, very interesting. What the heck? Uh, police struggle to combat internal extremism. Uh, German police and the military forces have been plagued by far-right scandals in recent years. Defense Minister um, Annegret uh, Kramp Karrenbauer was forced to disband the second company of the Bundeswehr Special Forces KSK in November last year after it became clear soldiers in the unit had covered right right wing extremist activities carried out by certain members. Uh, Hesse State, where the financial hub of Frankfurt is located, has been a particular hot spot of right wing activity among German authorities. Threatening emails sent to several people, including a prominent lawyer with a migrant background, were traced back to a police computer in Frankfurt. Messages were signed NSU 2.0, a reference to the Neo, um, you know what I'm saying, the only other Neo that there is, uh, National Socialist Underground, who committed 10, oh my God, well, not, uh, 10, uh, how do I put this in a monetizable way? <laughs> well, I'm gonna zoom in so y'all see it. So 10 this between 2000 and 2007. July 2020, it has to state left-wing politician Janine Vissler also received threatening emails after his personal details were accessed via police computers. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, let's talk about it, guys. So basically, uh, the very people that were supposed to protect, serve the public, are the very same people who were, uh, I guess, spreading copious amounts of hate. Um, not everybody, obviously. It was just a unit and a, a few people. But it's actually interesting because I do uh, talk to a lot of you guys in Discord sometimes. And, um, you know, I did hear when we, when we got into talking about stuff like that because we were talking about the police in America versus the police in 
Germany and stuff like that. There's a lot of similarities, a lot of differences. Um, obviously, the rules in Germany are a bit more strict, so you guys aren't as extreme when it comes to how you treat people um, you know, in, in situations and stuff like that. But uh, I did hear that there was a uptick in far right um, um, activities pretty much to, like I said, once again, say, saying this in the most mon monetizable way possible. Um, yeah, it, it's scary to think that that goes on. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, every single thing that uh, makes money is a job, obviously, right? Including positions of power where your responsibility is to, um, you know, manage people in, in, in real life and make sure that they abide by the laws. So you would think that with the people who have every intent on doing good, there's also gonna be people who do not have your best intentions at heart. And that's scary. That is honestly scary. I mean, if this is not your line of work and this is something you don't wanna do, you might wanna find a different career path. You know what I mean? So um, I know it has been affecting a lot of people. I'm not entirely sure like, um, you know to I, I i do know the degree for the most part but there's just a lot of things i don't see so what do you what are you guys thoughts and feelings on this let me know in the comments down below i think it's kind of sad though because the same thing happens in america too um obviously we you got you, we're known worldwide for not having the best police force on the entire planet or whatever but um you know there's police officers that really take their job seriously and um they do follow every proper protocol but then there's been an uptick of police officers that just say hey like it is what it is and it seems like that's what's happening in germany now man like well i didn't even know the uh the ksk unit was on that type of time too like well part of the ksk not the entire group but i was i'm, I'm shocked but i shouldn't be because that's pretty much what the world is on right now you know um it's just it's always been there i feel like the internet and media has just been able to cover a lot more aspects of what's already been happening so um like i said i want to hear you guys thoughts and feelings on this in the comments down below i just thought it was shocking and a little bit uh just just gut rich a little bit i'm just like imagine like you know getting a death threat from the person that's supposed to protect you <laughs> like what <laughs> it don't make no sense make it make sense like imagine calling the police to have the police threaten you for calling the police <laughs> like essentially right i mean obviously there's a lot more attached to that but it's just it's very crazy because obviously they were um targeting lawyers basically other people in power too but um using their might to kind of intimidate other people so it's just very uh very unfortunate there's a lot of that going on uh these days but i saw that on reddit and i'm like hmm, seems like a topic i could talk about um also, I guess to conclude this video, it has nothing to do with what we were just talking about, but I did make a poll on my YouTube channel. I might be t dialing down the uploads and going into more of a hyper edit uh, sort of thing. Kind of want to experiment with it for a little bit and um, go from there, but I don't know. Keeping you guys updated with the latest and greatest. Go ahead and subscribe. A lot more videos on the way. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever, Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter, we're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever. Okay? It's simple. Just go ahead and do those little things. We're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything, and it really means a lot. Now,
Now I know you guys stumbled up across the channel and you're like, what does this guy post? Like what kind of content does he post? Reactions, vlogs, pretty much whatever comes to my mind. All right, it's random content. I don't know what I'm gonna be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey and it really means a lot. Now for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made, and the, all the links will be in the description down below, that's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point, and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.